Hey everyone, Lisa here from Happy Zazzling, and a lot of you guys write to me and you ask me your opinions on your shops or, you know, ask me questions, and some of the stuff is way beyond my knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, like I told somebody the other day, I'm just a little old grandma from Wisconsin that is obsessed with Zazzle, and so I was just trying to teach some friends of mine how to do it, and I just, like, basically knew the basics. I do okay on it, I'm a silver seller and everything, but... Um, I definitely don't know everything and here's an example of that sometimes like I'll be I'm so used to doing the same things over and over that sometimes I miss new things or I just don't notice things that are on there and here's an example so in the Zazzle newsletter it said design tool updates editing mask and group elements just got an upgrade and I was like an upgrade I didn't even know you could mask anything on Zazzle I mean, just a year ago, I did a video on how I go to Photoshop to make, like, shapes transparent that are white so that I could put a picture in back of them so a picture will look heart shape, blah, 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 and went into this long explanation and lesson on how I do it on Photoshop and stuff. Well, I didn't know you could actually do it right on Zazzle. I didn't even know they had a masking option. So I'm going to show you guys that today, and I can't believe how easy it is, and I never even saw it so thanks to their newsletter you know i saw that they updated the masking and i'll show you guys what they talked about in this newsletter so basically you go to your zazzle shop and if you want to make something like this this is what i'm talking about with masking see the how their picture is in a heart shape well the customer can actually click on personalize this template replace the picture you know and they can they can pick out whatever picture they want and it's going to fit right perfectly in that shape so I'm going to show you guys how to make a personalized mug like this using the masking tool okay so we're going to go down to create and we'll do another mug And you can do this on any products, but I'm just going to do it on a mug right now. So what you do is you go to customize this design. And you're, you're going to want to upload, you know, one of your, your pictures, like a template picture. I have some AI couples on here, so I'm just going to use those right now. So you're going to click on this picture, and then you're going to go over here to the right-hand side, and you're going to click on Make This a Template Object. You're going to want to do this before you mask it. Okay, so you got this picture here, right? So next you're going to go up here to Elements, and you can do this with your own SVG, like say you have a heart-shaped SVG. I'll show you that in a minute. But right now we'll just use a, um, a circle. So we're going to take the circle and put it on top of the picture. And then we're going to go over here to Layers. Now hold down the shift button. Oval is already picked, so we're going to want to pick this label. So we're going to want to pick this layer. So to do that, hold down the shift button and click that. And if that gets undone, keep the shift button down and click on that too. So hold down the shift button and click the layers you want to select. Now once you do that, up here in the right hand corner, a mask button will appear. Click on that and see it's going to turn your picture into that shape. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to add text over here. I'm just putting in whatever. Um, so I'm going to put this text right here and try to center it. I really wish Zazzle would make it so you could click to the middle on each side to make sure it's centered. It never looks quite right to me, but they don't. So I'll just use these green borders and try to you know make it as centered as possible 
Then I'm going to go over here and make this a template object. That'll make it so that the customer can change the text too. So I'm going to click here on Done. And so now you got this. Hold on, I'm going to center it a little bit better. See what I mean? It, it's never quite centered right to me. Okay, so now we got the picture centered there. We got the text on the back. Right there. So now we're going to click sell it. So I won't go through all of this. I'll just speed through this. Okay, so now that that's all done, click here and go there now. And now a customer can go to personalize this template and they can change the text right here and they can change the picture and it's going to stay in that circle. So watch when I put in a couple. See, it's going to stay in that circle. And they can also personalize the text up here. Personalize and put. You know, they can put in whatever mm -hmm. they want right there. And if they want to edit it further, they can go to edit using design tool and they can move that up or center it or, you know, do whatever they want. But anyway, that's how you use the masking tool. Now I want to show you really quickly. We're going to do one more. Now I'm going to go over here to Kittle, like my favorite side in the world, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go over here to Kittle and I am going to pick out a heart. Okay, I'm going to download this as an SVG. Um, Zazzle will recognize SVGs for masking. So I made my own heart. So again, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pick out this mug. I hate how this thing gets in the way and I can't figure out how to remove it. Okay, so anyway, we got this mug, right? So we're going to go here to customize this design. And we're going to pick again, pick out a, a picture. And we're going to go down here and we're going to click on make this a template object. And now we're going to upload that heart we just made. This is the SVG we just made. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Because you want to make sure the photo's the same size as that pretty much. Okay. Now I am going to click on layers and again hold down the shift button and click on each layer and then I'm going to go up here to mask. So it's going to make that a heart. Now a new thing that Zazzle added was now you can double click on it and once you do that you can move this picture around to center it the way you want it. So once you got it how you like it, just click off of it. 
And again, we're going to add some text here. And, you know, you can go up here to change the text and stuff. I'm just trying to hurry through this, so I, I didn't really do much with that. But anyway, so I definitely don't want that one. Let me go to my favorite one. That's a cute text. Okay, so we got that on there. Again, go down here and make it a template object. And then click on this to make sure everything's centered right. That looks good. That looks good. And click Done. So it's the same thing. Go through here. And there you go. Now you got another product that somebody can personalize. Again, they can go over here and see the back and click right here to personalize it. And it will change automatically right there. And then to see the front of it, click the front, click personalize. And right here they can change the picture again to... Um, their own picture. So as easy as that. Isn't that cute? So anyway, I hope this helps you guys learn about masking and it doesn't take you 12 years to realize it's there. Honestly, I don't know how long masking has been there. I just never noticed it before until I saw the newsletter. So I'll put a link to their newsletter down below and um, links to these coffee mugs if you like them. And can't wait to see you guys make these. Leave your comments below if you have any further questions. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.